The thing I found about Unreal Engine is there's always a checkbox somewhere hidden in the details panel that turns out to be very useful. And I found another one. Now I'm in Unreal right now and I'm working on a composite. You can see she's about to fix something to the front of this car, but the media plate is intersecting with the geometry. So it just has a hard cut off. Starts to fix the car. There we go her hand and the drill and everything just goes and disappears. What I'd really want is for the media plate to just render in front of everything else so that I can see what's going on. My character and the media plate are exactly where I want them to be for the focus distance of the camera. Just moving her in front of the geometry doesn't make sense. So what do you do? Well, let's just select the media plate and we're going to go into the material for that media. And in the details panel, we're just going to search for depth and disable depth test. That's your checkbox right there and apply. So now when we look through our camera, it looks correct. Now, unfortunately, this does only work with Lumen, but I know a lot of you do render with Lumen and for you, this is perfect, especially if you're doing virtual production, placing actors on media plates within the environment. Let's say you have a full body shot of someone that you shot on green or blue, that's keyed and you place them into the environment. The feet need to intersect with the floor at exactly the right place and the feet will get cut off. So this is a really good solution for that problem. Path Tracer, on the other hand, I'll show you. It has its own depth rights, which are completely different to the raster engine. So yes, we have the same problem just as before. But if you prefer to do path traced renders like I do, then a shot like this would be best served in After Effects, Nuke or DaVinci. And that's everything from me today. I'll see you on the next one.